Today's video is going to be about packing and traveling and this video is kind of going to be some packing tips, how to pack and most importantly some of those life hacks because what is a YouTube video without life hacks, am I right? Over the last few years I've done a lot of traveling from weekend breaks to working abroad for months on end. I've done it all and I've become pretty used to living my life out of a suitcase but at the same time I'm also a very organized person as I hate the idea of anything going wrong. So I'm going to show you some of my organization tips in this video as well. I just recently came back from a little trip around Europe and that inspired me to make this video and show you guys how I pack because I actually implemented a few new things into my routine and I wanted to show you guys. If you like this kind of video don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it makes me really happy. Comment down below if you want to and if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified when I make any new videos. So without further ado, let's get into the travel packing hack. The first tip is about preparation. Write that packing list a week in advance and then if you forget anything, you'll remember it during the week. That way you don't forget anything from your actual suitcase. Using a heat resistant oven glove or pot holder to store your hair tools is really handy, especially if you've used them the morning you have to leave and they're still hot. It will save the day. You know those free shower caps that you get in hotel rooms that you take home and never use? Well, those are really good for storing your dirty shoes in before you put them in your luggage and they're available in most hotel rooms. Packing cubes are my absolute favorite. They're so handy. You can categorize all your different types of clothes. And when you get to your destination, you can just take the packing cube and put it straight in the drawers of the hotel room so you know where everything is. And to tie in with that, I think it's really important to roll your clothes because that gives you extra space and it really condenses them down in your case and in the packing cube. But you guys probably know this one already. Obviously everyone knows to use a label to label your luggage with your name and your address in case it gets lost and you need to get it back. But accessories like this, like this strap and label are really helpful because do you know how many people have this suitcase? So many people have this suitcase and I always see it going around the luggage racks. So I'm like, wow, maybe I should set mine apart from the crowd. And if you do this, then it's really easy to find and you know it's yours straight away. If you're doing multiple things, I always find it useful to make a really in-depth travel itinerary with the dates you're leaving the house and what time you have to get on the bus and the plane, etc, etc. It's really helpful. And I keep it in this document wallet with all my other documents, which I label on the top right hand corner so I can tell exactly what it is without having to shuffle through anything. And it gives you a nice little space at the back to keep all your mementos from your trip. Let's get back into some packing and this one's for toiletries. I'm taking some cling film or as you guys in America call it like cling wrap or something like that and I'm putting around all of the tops of the bottles making sure it covers down the sides as well in case there's any leaks in my luggage. If you've lost the cap of your razor blade, a binder clip works really well to protect it so that it won't cut up anything in your luggage when it's wild and free in the bottom of your bag. Speaking of binder clips, they're pretty good for keeping your headphones in check because you can wrap the cable around them and then you can actually clip them to your clothes. Spare glasses cases are really useful for keeping your cables in because if you're anything like me, they kind of end up at the bottom of your bag getting tangled. So this works really well to keep them in check. If you're still worried about leaks in your toiletry bag, then you can also Ziploc bag your items. And I actually keep a bag of these exact products Ziplocked in my bathroom, ready to go if I need to go anywhere. And it works well. Keeping your necklaces detangled is really easy when you use this straw method. You just use some plastic straws from the kitchen, you cut them to size and put your necklaces in them. 
and they should stay detangled in your case. Just remember to do both sides of the necklace. I didn't have enough straws for some of these and then they will stay tangle free. And finally, I always recommend taking a fold away bag. This is really useful for laundry or for going shopping or anything and it's really compact and small. So that was everything for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are going traveling anywhere soon and if you're gonna be using any of these tips. Where are you going? Let me know, because I'm jealous and I want to go. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Once again, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys next time. Bye.